Well, Faith, let me get started right. Uh, you know how this is going to go. We can't even get the first sentence out right. But here it is. It's almost bedtime. And I think I just needed to talk. Not about anything special. But this has not been a good day. And I don't think I have to even explain to you why it hasn't been a good day if you have watched television at all today. I'm not a go, going to go into the situation because you know what the situation is as well as I do. Our country's in a bad way right now and it's going to take a long time, long time to clear up the problem. I don't know if we ever will. So I'm not going to talk any more about that. I got up this morning. <clears throat> I was sitting on the couch drinking my juice. And I looked over at my china cabinet. And I've got two just to light. And the one behind me is one of them. So it gives you an idea of what I'm going to tell you. I was looking at the other one from the couch and I could see the edge of the uh, glass shelf. Well, I'm going to point right here. See that little line right across there? That is the edge of one of my glass shelves. There's four of them. And I've got my Fostoria and... Uh, a set of china, and you can see the red and white uh, English Abbey dishes. I've got a lot of dishes in there. So I looked over and I thought, something odd. And I realized I was looking at that shelf edge and it was angled like this, down, see, look top of my fingers. I panicked. Oh, that glass shelf has fallen. It fallen on one end. And my fostoria and my china is scooted to one end. I just stared at it. I didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. Oh gosh, how am I going to handle this? If I open that door, because it's got a catch to it, so it might give it a little jerk. And if I give it a little jerk, will that shelf fall down even more? And my mother's cake stand that I gave her in 1954 is right there on the end. A stack of my left on china is there. Next to it is a stack of my salad plates. And all around that is Fostoria. There are two, two candy dishes with lids, one on each end. There's my tiny Fostoria glasses, my pretty little glasses. They're in a circle, sitting on top of the cake stand. How am I going to get them off one at a time? I I was just stiff as a board. I, I, I just didn't know what to do. So I eased over to the cabinet and wasn't going to be easy pulling that door open because it's got a catch to it. And when I pulled it open, it's liable to cause things to move. I could just see. Now, this was the second shelf from the top. The one you see here, see, is the top shelf. And I thought, What's going to happen? Is that shelf going to just 
completely fall because it's off its little hinges. And it's got, you know, they've got those little uh, pegs in each corner of the shelf are little pegs that hold that glass uh, shelf up. One of those little pegs had come out and that was what was causing the, the uh, shelf to slant. Well, I managed to get the first door open and I reached over to pull the other door open. I, I'm almost not breathing because I'm afraid if I breathe, it'll cause it to fall. Where do I start? Where do I start? I got the doors open. So the first thing I reached for was a stack of eight china plates. These were expensive china plates, but they're old ones. So I reached in, I got the one set. I came out, and, well, I didn't have any place to put these things. I'm sitting them on the floor, I'm sitting them on the table, put them on the couch, anywhere I could find a spot. So I took the big plate first, then I took the next set of plates because I knew if one slid off, that all slide off. Then I started pulling out the little glasses and the candy dishes. You can't imagine what I went through. I thought my heart was going, mm -hmm. I was just waiting for the whole shelf to fall down on the next shelf, which had my Fostoria square cake uh, stand, and everybody's looking for that piece. Well, little by little, I got them out, and to tell you the truth, it was such an ordeal for me thinking what I could have lost if those had fallen on down and crashed on top of each other what it would have been like. Folks, those dishes are still sitting in the floor and on the table. I just couldn't make myself try to put them back together. But of course I had to get the shelf out and back in again. I had to find the little peg. I found the peg. So I've got to find some that old 6,000 glue and get the pegs in there tight so that the shelf cannot fall off. That started my day for me. Next thing was, can't get what I want to watch on television. My remote control won't work. I can't get the guide. Uh, I'm stuck on channel one, and channel one's a weather channel all day long, a weather channel. That's the only thing I can get. And this has been going on for two months. Now, I'm a little slow about getting things accomplished. And I said, I'm paying $200 a month to watch the weather channel. Got to get something done, so I'm... Um, trying to see where, where is Spectrum. Found out, got about three locations in Lexington, so I've got to go today and find out if I need a technician. So I took my um, remote control with me. I didn't know if that was the problem or not, but I kind of suspected it might be. So I took it with me and I went, I found the Spectrum oak over in the shopping center, and uh, I described my problem. She said, probably need a new remote control, and I said, well, that's kind of what I had in mind. So she handed me a, a new remote control, and I brought it home, and wow, it works. I've been watching television tonight. It hasn't been good. I, I feel like I have to keep up 
with what's happening with the hurricane. But I can hardly bear to listen and watch the people talk. So I also went to Hobby Lobby. Haven't been to Hobby Lobby in ages. I need some new flowers. Now I've got flowers in my bedroom stuck in a corner. Well, it looked like a shop over in one side of my bedroom full of artificial flowers. But I think I'd looked at them long enough that I needed some new ones. So I went to Hobby Lobby and of course their flowers were 40% off. And by the way, they've got all their Christmas stuff. They haven't even let uh, Halloween get here yet. And they've got all their Christmas stuff out. But it on sale 50% off this week. Well, you know how that goes. I'm looking at the price and I say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they jerked the price up a little bit so they could mark it down some. And uh, I didn't buy anything for Christmas. No, I've got more, more than I can use anyway and, and don't have any place to store it. And I said, can't look at Christmas stuff. So I went over and I looked at the artificial flowers. Oh gosh, I just can't resist things like that because, you know, a nice bouquet of flowers makes anything look pretty. You can see one up here. See on top there, that green vase. That's one of my favorite vases. I don't know what's sitting in front of it, but uh, that's got some yellow roses and something else. I don't know what it is in that vase. But uh, that's just one of them. There's one sitting everywhere you look because that's the only thing I can do with it, the only way I have them storing my artificial flowers. And then I bring out the one I need to do a table arrangement, and I'm going to do a table arrangement in the next day or two because I'm ready for one if you are or not. Now, where am I going from here? Yes, I bought a bunch. I bought leaves, greenery, little yellow flowers, and I got some fall colored leaves, good looking stuff. So I'm going to do another table arrangement and put my flowers down the center, I think make it spread them out instead of putting them in a vase. We'll see. You'll get to see them in a couple of days. And I hope I do a good job. So I almost bought a turkey. Now I'm not talking about a turkey in the freezer section. I'm talking about a handmade turkey. And I thought I've got my jack lantern my or my pumpkin terrine sitting in the middle of the table. If I buy a turkey and put it in the middle of the table, what am I going to do with the terrine? Okay, I talked myself out of buying the turkey. But I just still might buy it before Thanksgiving. You never can tell. So, I had to get all this off my chest. Then I went in the kitchen, had leftovers for supper. They were good leftovers though. Sometimes, some things are better the second day than they are the first. And when you're eating roast beef, coleslaw, um, cornbread, what else did I have? Potatoes and carrots. What more could you want? Well, I watched TV and I watched YouTube and I saw Billy Jean on YouTube. Uh oh. He did a video of the Edith Head uh museum display. The one that he where he took his mother and he's got pictures of 
her. She looked beautiful in the suit she's wearing. And so he went through and he followed the, I don't know what you call it, the displays with mannequins, with all the most beautiful clothes you ever saw. Edith had designed clothes back in the day when I was in my dream world, high school and around 16, 18, 20 years old. And I was just living in a dream world, wishing I could wear those beautiful clothes. And it's amazing they would tell who wore the dress, if it was uh, Grace Kelly, if it was Barbara Stanwyck, Joan Crawford, whoever it was. And I really expected to see something with Marlena Dietrich, but I suppose she had a designer of her own. And the clothing, it, it just blows my mind. I, I, I just live in a dream world when it comes to things like that, wishing I could have been a dress designer. So anyway, he did a really good job of videoing the museum display. And I'm so glad he did because that's one, that's one video I want to save because I love the style of the clothes in those years. That was mostly the 40s and 50s when Edith Head was a designer. So I just thought I'd get that off my chest and tell you, you want to be sure and go on YouTube and look at the Edith Head design that Billie Jean uh, videoed. And he did a good job, really good job. You'll enjoy looking at them. So there I am sitting there playing with my YouTube, watching the TV now that I got my remote control fixed and I could watch different channels. Doggone it, I went in the kitchen and I looked in the refrigerator. Oh boy, I wanted something else to eat. I didn't need anything else to see, eat. But there sat one of those little Red Baron, the little pizzas, you know, about this big. I stuck one of those in the oven. It only took about five minutes to heat it up, to brown it a little bit, and I put the extra cheese on top of it. And I sat down on the couch. Now it's bedtime, and I'm sitting on the couch eating pizza. It's not bad. I get the uh, special. Oh, what is it? The variety, whatever it is. But Red Baron. Uh, pizza is pretty good. So, now I took a little nap too, and of course the nap's what's keeping me, uh, keeping me awake. So, it's going to be bedtime soon. Don't have much else to tell you, but I'll think of something tomorrow and see what I can come up with, and I'll be sure and show you my next tablescape, because I'm anxious to see what I can do with it. I need something new and different. So, folks, I hate to even bring it up, but please, please, have these southern states in your prayers. They are going through well, I'll just say they're going through hell and back. It is so bad, so bad. And they need all the help they can get. Now, if you're wanting to donate money, which they say is the best thing to do, try one of the organizations like the Samaritan Purse. That one is one that... Uh, Billy Graham Jr. That is their project. And you can be sure 
that the money will get to the victims of this disaster. They need it desperately, and it seems the federal government is not giving them the money they need. Just thought I'd throw that in, in case you're interested. So, as a gesture of humanis humanitarian gesture, you might want to send a few dollars to the Samaritan purse. You can go on internet and get an address and all how to handle your contribution. So, we've got that to worry about and we've got to try to help find a solution. And I don't think there's going to be a solution for the next two years. It's such a bad situation. It's a situation we've never had before. We don't know what to do. And it's going to be trial and error. And there are a lot of people volunteering their time. Thankful for those people. And keep your prayers going. Prayers do help. But right now, they need your money. So, I'm going to say good night to you. And I hope that little pizza I ate doesn't lay heavy on my stomach tonight. So foolish to eat pizza just before we go to bed. But I'll wash it down with a little bit of Dr. Pepper. And maybe that'll help, you know. You never can tell. So I'm getting really nice comments on YouTube, getting new. Oh, I met a lady in uh, Hobby Lobby. This was kind of funny. I told her I had a YouTube channel and she plugged it in, subscribed, right? You know, I watch and let them subscribe to my channel while I'm standing there. And she started talking about her family and her children. And she's got a, I don't, I think it's a granddaughter that's in college. And, you know, you learn a little bit about the family. And she started telling me about uh, the granddaughter has a, uh, some kind of dragon. And I said, a dragon? I said, how big is it? And she said, well, it's about this long. And it's got a name that I forgot it. You know, I always forget part of it. But it's a dragon. I said, what in the world would you do with something like that? Well, she said, well, she came in the other day with a baby possum. She said, it's about this long little tiny thing and she probably got it in an aquarium or something like that and i said what in the world do you do with a baby dragon and a baby possum as pets so you see the kind of people i meet when i go shopping and if you get in conversation with them, you just never know what you're going to learn. But I will tell you this, I won't be running out looking for a possum and a dragon to bring home. I'll just stick with artificial flowers. So I'll be showing them to you in two or three days. So you hang in there. And if you got something good to say, only good things, that's all I want to hear now because I get depressed with all this bad stuff. So I want us to keep our spirits up and think positive. Think positive and pray to the Lord that he can solve this problem for all of these southern states that are in dire need 
They're in dire need of food and place to live. So, say two prayers if you can. And I'll be talking to you later. It's been good talking. It gets it off my chest. If I can talk to you, if that helps me feel better. And I hope by talking about it, it'll make you feel better too. So, that's all I've got to say tonight. And I'll be talking to you again. Bye-bye.